Hey cool cats, I'm back with another video. Curtis Connor did a video on this and I loved it. So today we're going to be reacting to the divorce hashtag on TikTok, cause that's a thing people are doing. First of all, why? I have compiled a list and I've tried not to watch them fully. So I'm just hoping they're good. Also just wanted to mention, so I don't get copyrighted, which has happened before, I'm going to be covering the songs myself. You'll get to hear more of me singing. Isn't that such a great time? We're gonna get into it right now and yeah, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Okay, here we go. Hey, it's editor Kaylin here. Before I get into any of this, I just wanna say I filmed this video a couple weeks ago. Wasn't able to get it out because I was helping my brother with a project of his own. And then the Logan Paul mockumentary came out and I wanted to cover that video before I did this one. In that time, Mimulus made the exact same video and used a lot of the same divorce TikToks. So I promise I'm not ripping off of him, just this video came out a lot later than I intended it to. So, all right. Let's get on with it. And my friend said, I know you love her, but it's over, mate. It doesn't matter, put the phone away. It's never easy to walk away, let her go. That puppy is, first of all, oh gosh. Okay, the puppy is really cute. And then he gives you like this stare, just doing up my boot. I got divorced. His caption says, Started with just me and my puppy. We'll be okay without you. Hashtag divorce. So, you know, he's gonna be okay, it's fine. It's fine to do a little chuckle cause he's got his puppy. Everything's gonna be all right. And like, I have to say, accurate. to say about this one because like first of all super dark and sad and second like what do you say about this her caption when you have no rights on him legally hashtag divorce hashtag respect hashtag feature me hey tiktok losing my son feature me yeah okay this is the part when I say I don't want ya, I'm stronger than I've been before. This is the part when I break free, cause I can't resist it no more. From what I've seen during my TikTok research on the divorce hashtag, the guys never seem happy, but quite a few girls are like, yeah, I'm out of that relationship, yes. Everybody's got a blank page, a story they are writing today, a wall that they are climbing. You can carry the past on your shoulders, or you can start over. It's just very dramatic. Who goes into the divorce hashtag besides people who are getting divorced, trying to support others, and people who are laughing at these kinds of videos? Like I can't see children when there's like probably Fortnite dances going into the divorce hashtag. Sometimes moms and dads fall out of love, sometimes too. Homes are better than ones. Some things you can't tell your sister cause she's still too young, yeah you'll understand. When you love someone. Ooh. Oh, I just hate this song in general too. I want to know who collaborated this because if it's the kid, that's less bad. If it's the parents, that's a lot worse. It's just awkward. Took his ring off my finger, gave him back his last name. Do, 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 do. Do do. So don't judge me. I'm doing the best I can. Got a damn good reason for. With videos like this, it's just kind of like, I don't know, like obviously do whatever you want. It's your life. Get married when you're 18. Get married when you're 35. Do whatever. It's not my place to say. But this caption says, never did I think I'd be divorced by the time I was 20 but I couldn't be happier. Why'd you get married so young? If you're getting divorced at 20, you'd think there might be like signs to not get married to them. I don't know, when you're young, you're dumb. In my very own personal opinion, I don't think you should be getting married uh, when you're 18 or 19 or 20. You got a lot of growing to do. So if you're getting married that young, ooh, 
don't know if it's gonna work. Obviously in this case, I was right. No, you coming to watch TikToks with me? You've made a terrible decision. Oh, that's a mic. You wanna, you wanna say something? You don't talk. Took his ring off my finger, gave him back his last name. Do, 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 do. So don't judge me, I'm doing the best I can. Got a damn good reason for- Divorce was the best decision I ever made. Take off my ring. Here's my divorce papers. Hey kids of TikTok, are you interested in this? Well I got me an ex that I adored, but I got along good with a couple road whores. Got my name changed back, yeah yeah. I got my name changed back, yeah yeah. I don't wanna be a missus on paper no more. I got my name changed back, yeah yeah. Oh, it's, I just, like my brain cannot fathom why people are putting a divorce on the internet. The worst is over now, and we can breathe again. I wanna hold you high and steal my pain away. It's just such a concept posting some of these two. I feel like that is a lot of what TikTok is. They have their terrible acting. It's so dramatic. And the same can be said for these TikToks as well. Like what you have is, hey, look at my new apartment. Very nice. And if they had left it at that, I'd be like, nice. Moving is hard. I hate moving too. Good job. And then they go and they're just like, very dramatic. That, I think that's what I'm getting at is all of TikTok is very dramatic. One of the tags in this is acting wars. So that means people are trying to out act each other. Guys, I bet that's gonna be another video on this channel. Is this like a thing? in different countries. Their caption is, when you don't have right on him legally. These videos are just real sad. The kids don't know what's happening. I hope it's fake because you shouldn't just be like making a TikTok about this. I don't have the rights to have my child. So I'm gonna kiss his head and then walk away dramatically. And everyone's gonna be like, wow, you brave woman. And then she walks past you and then a strobe light hits and you end up having a seizure. Then I got you off your knees, put you right back on your feet just so you could take advantage of me. Tell me how's it feel sitting up there, feeling so high but too far away to hold me. Obviously it does suck, but I just, I don't know, just watching them throw a ring on something, a picture, a wedding certificate, whatever, a marriage certificate, I mean. It's just funny. It's like Salt Bay, just sprinkling rings on stuff. <laughs> Sometimes moms and dads fall out of love. Sometimes two homes are better than one. Some things you can't tell your sister because she's still too young. Yeah, you'll understand when you love someone. I don't like this one. He looks like Leon Lush, first of all. It's so cringy because this is obviously not that kid's idea. She's like three years old. So the dad is like, hey, let's do a duet together. Your whole world is crumbling under you. Let's make a fun TikTok about it, okay? I was a human before you killed me and ripped my heart out. I knew what love was. Now when they ask me, I just reply slow and sound like- This one worries me. In the caption it says, a new start after my divorce to moving on. So good job. But you're burning your marriage certificate. I don't know if you're allowed to do that once you're divorced. Don't you have to keep that? I would feel like you'd have to file that away somewhere in case someone's like, hey, you guys aren't actually divorced or something. I don't know, just burning it. Seems dangerous, not just the fire just the legalities of not having it in case you need it. At least you got TikTok clout. Okay. Can't believe I had a girl like you and I just let you walk right out of my life. After all I put you through, you still stuck around and stayed by my side. What really hurt me as I broke your heart. These are just so sad. I feel like I'm like intruding on their personal lives, but they made it public, so. I didn't realize that was in my videos, but it was. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you would like to see more of my face or hear more of my voice or 
whatever reason you're here for. If you would like to stick around and see more of it, uh, then you can subscribe down below. I'd be very happy to have you. And if there's any kind of videos or you're just wanting to talk to me, you can do so in the comments. If you wanna say something like, hey, Kaylin, I wanna see you do the TikTok hashtag on acting wars. I'll be like, I'm so happy that you mentioned that because I want to do that now. Or if there's like really anything you'd like me to do a video on, um, I'm very open with suggestions. So you could probably suggest anything and see it in the future. And if you like this video, feel free to share it, like it, whatever you want to do. Don't have to do anything at all. It is a free country and I'm not here to control you. So do what you want. If you'd like to follow me at any of my social media, it is down in the description below. We got everything. We got Twitter. We got Reddit. We got Instagram. Instagram, and we got Tumblr. So if you want to follow me on any of those, go for it. As some of you might know, on this channel at the very end, I like to make little songs based on what we talked about. So I'm going to quickly do that and I will be right back with a TikTok divorce song. How exciting. All right, I am back. We have a new song. Full disclosure, this one was the easiest to make because this one is also the shortest song I have done on this channel so far. So I hope you like it. Okay. Here we go. My partner left me with a hole in my heart. We got 13 kids there tearing me apart. It kind of really sucks cause I love them so. I wish I could lip sync over a song that I know. If only I had some way to relieve my stress. If only I had somewhere to show Thanks for watching. Bye.